I converted one of my Canon cameras into infrared, which you cannot turn back um, if you don't like it. But it was standing there on the shelf, just gathering dust. So I say, might as well give it a go and we'll see how it happens. In fact, I liked it so much and my favorite images are now black and white infrared. I also turn them into black and white fine art. And I hope you enjoy this video and maybe, who knows, you'll do the same thing or maybe you'll prefer from black and white, you'd rather have the infrared. I must warn you that anything in the image when you're using the black and white um, infrared, all the foliage will be in white, just like it's covered everything in snow. Gives you that ethereal look, makes the image pop even more than just ordinary black and white. Let's get editing, and then you can see which one you prefer, either black and white, straight black and white, or infrared, black and white. So here we are in Adobe Camera Raw. I'll be using this uh, software for this editing. Like I said before, uh, the image will be editing is all in red. The foliage is white. And the water will be like a uh, black, like pure black. What I do here, the first thing I do is I just press the auto up here. We don't really need to do anything with these sliders here, but I'm just going to increase the blacks since we have a bit of clipping here. That should be it. Increase slightly the exposure. And there we are. Now from here, I'll be taking it into Photoshop. I do not use the black and white button here. I prefer taking it into Photoshop. Like I said in my previous images, I found it is the best method for turning it into black and white. I don't use the Lightroom conversion, black and white, on, and not even the Adobe Camera Raw. So we're going to take it to Photoshop. Don't be scared of Photoshop. A very simple method. Watch my other videos. And the explanation is really quite simple. Just follow my steps and you'll get the hang of it. Click OK. And we're over in Photoshop. Next thing I do I go down to the adjustments layer down here on the right side at the bottom this half black and white circle look for the black and white click on black and white and there you have the black and white image I press the auto you can use the sliders if you want just for the sake of this video I'm gonna try and hurry up a bit to, not to make it too long I'm going to close this image, uh, uh, this panel, again go back to the adjustments layer and next click on the gradient map. I do this all for my black and white images. Click on this small window here on the drop down arrow. Click on classic. And next if your gradient map is like this just click on it and we're going to swap the black from here and put it to this side and the whites from here to the right side. Just click on the map and here just switch these sliders on the opposite sides. That's all. And there it is. Next I'm going to increase slightly the blacks by moving this slider here you can use how much you want not too much though should be okay and then click OK if you want you can increase the whites also 
I think I will and click OK close this window next thing I do is flatten the image these layers and from here we'll be going back into Adobe Camera Raw up onto the filter here I told you it's quite simple find Adobe Camera Raw filter click on it and it's going to take us back into the editing software Adobe Camera Raw next I'm gonna play around with the exposure panel here I'm going to reduce the highlights much more detail in the sky as you can see should be okay I'm not going to touch the shadows increase the whites until I see clipping up here increase the slider Oop, and there we have the clipping dial it down a bit it's gone and I'm going to do the same for the black slider we have clippings near straight away nearly increase the contrast should be okay I'm not going to touch the exposure I'm going to go back down to the effects around here I'm going to increase the dehaze works quite well don't worry about these clippings the shadows and the, the highlights if you hover over these it will give you each one referring to each one that's clipped and next I'm gonna increase the clarity and some texture should be okay I'm going to go down to the detail panel increase the sh sharpening quite a bit it's okay for black and white to around 60 I reduce the radius just a bit 0.8 and I increase the detail to around 80 hold down the masking slider and the alt key on a PC and you will only be sharpening the white areas that should be okay next I'm gonna go back up to here I'm gonna remove the clippings see which one it is hover over it's showing me the shadow clipping warning increase the shadows It's not working dial it back down double click back on zero and I'm going to use the black slider it should be okay don't worry it's black and white you will get some darker blacks and some shadows I'm gonna dial back the whites a bit that should be okay don't worry about this like I said the water is always black and infrared next we're gonna use the filter panel here and I'm gonna use the linear gradient I use this method just for my other black and white ordinary black and whites reduce the exposure fine another linear gradient for the foreground trying to draw the viewers eye to the main subject which is the waterfall reduce the exposure here should be okay another map but I'll be using a radial place the radial gradient 
over the waterfall like that close it a bit and increase the exposure to brighten up the waterfall and I'm going to give the water a bit more detail I go down to the texture and increase it to around 50 make it 60 slightly the clarity ready from here another map uh, gradient mask a radial gradient I mean sorry and we're gonna make a simple vignette should be okay there we're gonna invert it now pressing this square box here and here I'm gonna reduce the exposure and there we have our final image in infrared black and white I told you the foliage it was green in the actual picture that day and since it's an infrared 720 nanometer it, the foliage always comes white the water always comes black the blues in the sky will come uh, black in, as well the clouds will stay white and it's just like everywhere is covered in snow well I hope you enjoy this video maybe you'll start taking some infrared images if you like it I prefer infrared than ordinary black and white and maybe you get you get used to it and prefer infrared also thank you guys for watching my channel I'm going to show the final image at the end of the video I've edited it before and make sure to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up and also notification bell thank you guys and see you in another video see ya